got class division, rich countries, poor countries, corruption, among Arabs themselves. And uh, as some people pointed out, you cannot simply say, you know, and many left liberals enjoy this. They have a kind of a perverse pleasure. Whenever there is a crisis in a third world country, they always will in some way prove, oh, it's our responsibility. There is something so patronizing in this, as if, as if uh, they are even too stupid, all those Arabs or black Africans, to be really evil. If they do something catastrophic, ah, only we are big enough even in the direction of the evil to do it. Uh, so uh, uh, let's take this case. Let's ask a simple question, which some people don't like to ask. Aren't there immediately beneath, below the big crisis region, Syria, Iraq, aren't there a couple of Arab Muslim countries who are among the richest in the world? Take Qatar, where they control their own Al Jazeera, who all the time emphasizes the plight of immigrants and so on. Qatar usually is listed among the first three per capita with greatest per capita income richest countries in the world. Competition is somewhere Liechtenstein in Europe, Qatar, Singapore. Okay, you know how many refugees they took? None. All of them, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, Qatar, only uh, Emirates, none, only the poor countries are invaded by them. So I don't think this, is, uh, this question should be a taboo. Like, what's the international geopolitical game that is being played here? That's first point. Second point, so-called Muslim fundamentalism. You know, we should not simply say it's not, okay, of course, I'm not condemning it in a racist way, but it's also not enough to say, okay, this is just a reaction to Western imperialism. So ultimately, again, we are guilty. Of course, it's a reaction, but listen, let me draw a parallel. Hitler was also just a reaction to brutal Western imperialism treatment of Germany after World War I. It's absolutely clear. In this sense, Western Europe, England, France were responsible for Hitler. But this doesn't mean that, we, that they were wrong to fight it afterwards. And it's the same way, way here, you know. Arabs were exploited, all that, all that. But nonetheless, Muslim fundamentalism is not simply just a pure passive reaction to a difficult predicament. It's nonetheless a conscious choice. It's a certain active politics. It's a way, in a very strong sense, to react to, to what? To modern crisis. So for me, instead of Accepting these official coordinates, on the one hand, um, we Western permissive society, on the other hand, bad fundamentalists, 